Imagine spending time with your brothers only to find out that it will be your last time together. That in Sales ordeal. He cannot hold back his tears and expresses immense pain and grief. Insala had a close relationship with the two police officers who he considered his blood brothers. He spent most of his day at their end before heading to his night work. <laughs> If I had stayed till evening, I would have also died. I vowed to relocate from this area. Life, he tells me, will never feel the same. The community is deeply saddened by the news. <laughs> Noah regrets not meeting his brother before his untimely death. They had planned to meet on the evening of his death. That was just said that I was trying to come and see him for here. And then something said, no, no, I'm going to change yourself and come and see your bed. <laughs> now I went there to change myself. I said, no, let me eat, finish. I was about to eat, finish, and they were knocking my door. No one come and see, they kill your brother. They kill your brother. When I ran, Ben was lying down. It's a very sad one, and the place actually feels heavy, if you ask me. I'm here putting myself in the shoes of Insala as he gazed the blastings of his brother what exactly is running through his mind. But I'm certain one thing that will make him happy is to see perpetrators brought to book. In December last year, a resident who had returned from the U.S. was shot. Our lives are in danger. Stepping out in the evening was a no for us. And so we ate Gary for supper, just to protect our lives. Also, we have a baby who is four months old. The place is scary. We need constant security to patrol the area. Police are gathering evidence after the shooting, confirming the death of two officers, one on the spot and the other at Yabua Hospital. The gunmen did not take anything from the victims and sped off on a motorbike. An intelligence-led operation is underway to apprehend the suspects. This is not the first time an incident like this has happened in this area and it may not be the last. Whilst resident await the closure of investigations, what they seek is to have some constant security to ensure they go about their everyday lives without fear or harm. George Quinnin, TV3 News, East Osako.